day. First time subscribers also get a 30 day money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at the Treasury bond market, looking at this chart. Uh, as you can see here, it is a 15-minute chart. We've gone from uh, 129 uh, all the way down to 123. And as you can see, we have an ABCD Gartley forming up here uh, at the level of a 126 and change, I believe. Uh, actually 125 and change, almost 126. And that would be a first time we've had a really clear ABCD going up in a very long time. And that's coming in at the 382 retracement. Folks, I know the market, the Dow Jones is, is up 350, 400 points. And the NASDAQ has come back from the dead and so has the S&P. But folks, if this is the low in the market, and I know it's going to be sometime in October, I am going to be very, very surprised. I could see the ABCD pattern very clearly in the, uh, the three drive in the Dow Jones at the 786, and we had a beautiful one in the S&P. I, I think I bring this out and show you effectively having a, a very large divergence at the time, and that gave us a, you know, a pretty good idea of uh, what we were expecting today, and we certainly have got that. Now, we got to get through the rest of the day, but this is what we've been seeing so far. Now, I will get uh, one other one here, and I hope this is it. And nope, this is the, well, this is the NASDAQ. Just to show you the relative strength in the NASDAQ versus the Dow. The Dow's up 700 points off its bottom. And as you can see here, the um, NASDAQ can't even make the 382 off the high that we had on the jobs report here on Friday. So that's a very interesting phenomenon in itself. Okay, now let me get the one on the E-mini S&P up here because it has a very, very clear uh, three drive to a bottom pattern and it lines up uh, very nicely. We'll just get this up here for one second. I did this about, oh, I think a 45 minutes or so ago and we'll get up and take a look at it because I just checked. Uh, you'll notice here that the 382 on this move comes in at 36.53. Well, the high so far today in the S&P has been 36.53. Now, is that going to be the high of the day? I have no clue because this market's extremely oversold. Look at this beautiful ABCD pattern. ABCD right at the bottom. Look at the from low to low to low, perfectly uh, accurate over these uh, hourly charts. So, just, it was just acting just absolutely beautiful. In the longer term, you're making the bigger ABCD. So we're due for rally. We could go up and even, you know, challenge some of these numbers up in here without any trouble at all. We could also stop right here, too, because it's still basically, you know, is a, a bear market, not a big bear market, but is a little one. We have to get above 3657 for the market to continue, you know, screaming to the upside. And we certainly could do that, too. So those are just some of the things that we're keeping an eye on today because the market is extremely oversold and is overdue for a rally, and we're getting it, especially in the Dow Jones being down 300 and then being up 350. So that's about a 650 to 700 point swing today since about 2 in the morning to where we are right now. But the numbers were lining up saying, well, there might be a rally coming, and we had a rally in everything. The U.S. dollar weakened a little bit, and that took – gold off to the races and it also made most of the currencies rally too so those are some of the things that we're looking at each day when i look at these markets i plan you know what i think may happen the next day that's what i try to do when i send a video out last night what i was looking at because i had several people ask me uh, about the silver market and so i i did a little video and i sent these out to show you folks what i was looking at last night 
Uh, we were trading up in this area right here, about 40 cents away from what we thought would be good support right there at the 61% retracement. And as a matter of fact, at that point, you're going to be looking at a one, three, five pattern, correct? And your AB leg here is equal to the CD leg right here. So everything lines up there. And so what we want to do is we want to go and see what happened to it the next time we took a look at it, which was early this morning. And you'll be pleasantly surprised that by golly, we finally got one right here. This has just been absolutely a beautiful picture of a low in silver. And as long as it can stay above that low, we've got a chance for something really big uh, to the upside. The $64 question is, is it going to stay above the low? And I don't know, and nobody else does either. That's the key to remembering what we're looking at. These patterns are for predictability within reason, okay, and also probability because they do repeat with a certain degree of accuracy that just can't be can't be ignored. It's just, uh, you know, I happen to be a pattern recognition swing trader, so I am just absolutely, you know, heavily biased, uh, you know, when I look at these. Now, since we were looking at the silver at the same time, we were watching the um, action in the gold market because the gold market follows along with the silver market. And all I need to do now is to find the gold chart, and I will find it right here, just where I put it. So let's get it up, and we'll take a quick look at it here. Move this up. Rich Anderson will be our guest at the break, as I mentioned, and he'll be fun to talk to. we got a big wheat report tomorrow. Look at the low today, folks. There was the low right back here. We rallied all the way up here. And there we came down exactly to the 61% retracement. And we've already rallied $20 off of that low, just like we've rallied uh, 40 cents off of silver. So these numbers, when they do hit, and when they do hit, they work. And when they don't work, you get out of the way and say, pick up the telephone and find me another thing to trade. Because by golly, there's always something out there that you'll be able to use and to, you know get on your uh, high horse or low horse, whatever you want to do, and, and ride it. That's the main thing. Now, I did want to uh, share with you the uh, Dow Jones E-mini because uh, it, it had a pattern here that I wanted to bring to your attention because of the – I do time counts, folks. When I look at these car, uh, charts like this and I see three lower bottoms like this, when I see three lower bottoms, the first thing I want to do is to measure from low to low and low to low. That means if we're coming down into this last low here, this would be a three drive to a bottom pattern, drive one, drive two, drive three. You can see the really nice symmetry between these lows, just perfect. Goes right to a 1.618 expansion of this move right here, 1.27 of the move in the middle, and that's all you need. You just buy it there, put a stop of about 10 cents, and let her rip. And as you can see, it took off and has moved uh, substantially higher from where we were uh, yesterday and also last night. So the metals have started to change direction, and that's also meaning maybe the U.S. dollar has changed. But one day does not make a trade. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio Tom O'Brien is here to help Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you Tom's daily market newsletter market insights is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, I've been asked to show a couple examples of some things that we don't usually talk about related to point three eight two. And as you can see here in the wheat, we had this huge rally of well over four thousand dollars from the low we made here. Sunday night down there at uh, 773, we got all the way up to uh, eight. Excuse me, 873. We all got up to 950. You can see here we broke. We rallied right up to a 382 retracement. Big surprise there. And then today we've completed that ABCD uh, to the downside. Now that was the wheat. I had one other one here, I believe, and I wanted to bring that to your attention too because uh, I thought it was quite. Uh, quite interesting hold on just a second here this is the one from two days ago of course uh, oh no that's farther back than that that back that's back uh, that's the one on the Dow Jones a long time ago uh, five days ago so where is the other one I did the 61 percent retracement on that one and nope that's not it just give me a second one last chance ah and this is it we'll get this up here and you'll be able to see it right away because when these markets go blasting through these 3A2s, you can expect something really dramatic to happen. And you can see here in the British pound, we had the first 3A2 pattern here. And then yesterday, we had the second 3A2 pattern here. And then we went down to complete this uh, 1.618 expansion of that move. And then when we went above here, look out, because it really started to rally. So you had two really nice 3A2s set up here. Both of them had really nice profit objectives in them. And then, of course, once we went above here, that told you that that cycle was pretty much completed. And we're looking at uh, higher prices in the British pound. How long? One day, two days, three days? I don't know. I wait for the pattern to complete. And then I try to go uh, with that. Now, I want to share with you something that I really enjoy. And it's the last words of our good friend, hold on, think, <laughs> hold on just to think. I love getting these uh, charts from you folks. It, it really uh, it really does make me, uh, you know, me, makes me very happy to see that you're seeing the light and uh, you're going to be able to do it. But I want to, uh, oh, got it, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is this it? I hope it is. Let me see. Nope, that's not it. Give me a sec, folks. Basically, it's the last words. Of, uh, of of his advertisement when he was on iPhone 
right before he passed away. After they introduced the iPhone, he he basically passed away, and I wanted to uh, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, share the words because uh, I live pretty much by these words, and uh, I I really think that uh, you you will enjoy them once I can find it. <laughs> Give me a second here. Oh dear, give me a break. Uh, why? Why is it that this does? Why did they do that to me? Let me try one other thing here to see if I can find it. Doggone it! That's not fair. And let's see here where we are here. Ay 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 ay. By golly, I can't find it. But basically, I'm going to find it because I think it's that important. And uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I copied and pasted it the right way. There's one other way that I can get it. And give me a break here, folks. I know we watch these charts too much anyway, but let me take a quick look here. I know when I got this, I know where my source was. Mr. Jameson, sir, over there in the Isle of Man. And I know it's here somewhere. So just give me a second and we will find it. And here it is, folks, the words of Steve Jobs. Right before he closed the show, when he introduced the iPhone, and he knew he had pancreatic cancer, and he knew his time was up, and he said, almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or fear of failure, these things must fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you're going to die is the best way to know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. Take the risk. Make it pay. Steve Jobs. Boys and girls, you are forced to take risk. It's a question of you do it under your terms or you do it under somebody else's terms. And so when you take that risk, Make sure you do it under your terms. That's the whole key to what I'm looking at here. When I say these words from uh, uh, <laughs> Tony Robbins, and he got them from somebody else. I can't remember who it was. If somebody that, that gave him the quote he, he got, he said, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I try to do that. I try to give back to this lovely world that has been so darn good to me that I, I just really try to do it. Not, probably not enough, but as much as I as much as I can, sometimes a little too much. I don't know, but that's what you should do. You should give it back a little bit because you don't know when that spinning wheel of life, you know, the ball lands on your number and you're over. But uh, by golly, it's been a good ride for me. It's certainly been an e-coupon ride. But uh, I wanted to get into that because someone uh, here at TFNN, not with TFNN, but down in the Florida area, has been hit extremely hard by the uh, – by the storm, and he basically the family has lost uh, just uh, just a lot, uh, not all, but a lot. They still they're okay. I mean they're they're not on the food line, or, but they lost you know photos and papers and you know things that are you just can't be replaced. And when I was chatting with him, and I told him, I said, you know, you're basically still pretty lucky. And he said, yes. He said, I know that, but it's still pretty tough. And he asked me how I got through things like this. And boy, folks, I've been through some really wang dingers as you know losing a couple million bucks losing my mother you know four of my best friends are now gone i only have two left you know byron tucker and uh earl and nikki and this that's three three people that's pretty much it and anyway uh there's a book called the light from many lamps by lillian watson it's about 400 and some pages it's very popular it's been around for a long time if you're having trouble things are not going your way pick up that book and read about other people that went through things that you will flat out not believe and made it through. I mean, it is really an inspiring book. It's it's just an incredible book. I think I've probably bought 50 copies over the past 55 years or so. Sometimes I buy two or three at a time when they find them in the used bookstores and stuff. But it's a great book. Lillian Watson, Light from Many Lamps. You can't go wrong with that one. It equals, to me... From a psychological, it equals um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That book changed, that book flat out changed my life big time because I was, uh, you know, a freshman in college and uh, I was able to meet Napoleon Hill when I was in graduate school and W. Clement Stone, so it made even a bigger impact. But I had already read that book 25 times by the time I had met them because, you know, your mind is the master of your soul and once you can figure that out, 
you know, you got it pretty well. The, the rest of it falls into place. So that's enough of the, of the uh, I guess, the uh, lecture for today. But uh, we'll have Rich Anderson coming up here uh, pretty soon, and we'll uh, be talking to him. And tomorrow uh, we will have Bill Meridian as our guest. Uh, Thursday, I had somebody special. I don't remember. Let me see. Who did I have on special for third? I think the Shane man might be here on Thursday. I'm not sure. But I believe, and he's always special. Hey, let's take a break here. We'll be back with Rich Anderson, folks. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, one of our listeners was kind enough to send a quote uh, about the risk and uh, the fact that he's finally learned to... Uh, you know, deal with it and stuff. I'll, I'll be happy to read it to you. And it says, not taking, it shows a beautiful turtle here heading out towards the ocean. Not taking risks is the surest way of losing. If you don't take the risk, eventually the risk will come to you. Because in life, there's no way to avoid risk. A person who postpones it will eventually have time come for them to take the risk. The decision will be forced into them, choosing between a situation that they do not like or taking the risks for which they are ill-prepared. Folks, in Chinese literature, risk and opportunity are written the same way. The meaning of the word depends upon the meaning of the sentence. So risk and opportunity are the same thing in Chinese literature, and that goes back thousands of years. So some dude figured that out really good. So take the risk when it's offered to you, and that's the best thing. I love the quote by David White, 
sell when you want to, not when you have to. I think that's exactly what it is, but uh, that's the main thing that you got to remember. Or buy when you want to, not when you have to. So a uh, good thing to remember that as we you know, walk through and look at some of these charts. Now, remember, folks, when we were on the air here, we said that the S&P should have that 382 at the 38, uh, 30, excuse me, 3653 uh, level, and 3653.50 was the high, and now we're 20 handles under it at 36.35, uh, which is a rel re relatively big surprise here. So maybe these numbers actually work. I mean, son of a gun, they did today, but not always do they work that way. Now, we have uh, a big uh, report tomorrow in the wheat, folks. And uh, as you know, wheat's had a tremendous move here. And, uh, you know, we, we got all the way up to 940. We sold off about 50 cents in the last day or so. Corn has sold off. Beans are still up, but just a tad. So there's still a question of, you know, how the crop is going to come out. The weather that they had there with the cold weather really didn't affect very much. That's the main thing. The thing that's in play, folks, I know they're not talking about it now, but this is what's happening in the market, and you got to pay really close attention to it because this is not about stocks, what's going on in the world, folks. It's all about what's going on in the bond markets of the world, from the U.S. to China to Great Britain to e Egypt, Greece, Italy, all of them. It's all about the bonds. People finally realize that if you keep lending money to people, <laughs> that's it. Did they try to pull a scam on us when they said, boy, it's going to be negative interest rates, so you got to get in on this? That was a year and a half ago. Of all the things that I've ever seen in all of my financial years, which is I started in 59, this is 20, that's 63 years, never did I see anything more ill-advised than negative interest rates, where you give your money to somebody else with no guarantee that you're going to get it back, and they're going to charge you a fee for it. Ooh, what a deal that is. I passed on it. So glad I did. But uh, anyway, some people probably did. And uh, that's what's going on. The problem we have in the world, folks, is that the U.S. dollar is extremely strong. Now it's it corrects you know it's right now it's under a little bit of a, a little bit of a correction but remember this thing has been running really fast nothing goes up for forever well certain things do but uh, anyway if, if that's what you that's what you want to think about when you're when you're doing some of these things now I want to get to a uh, chart on the FTSE here because we were ready to make some ABCDs on the patterns that we were looking at today in the S and P. And in the Dow Jones and then also in the NASDAQ, we did make those three drive to a bottom patterns. I don't know how this completed, but I know we were very, very close to completing it down in here. And that would have been a really nice ABCD pattern coming in right here with the three drive. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. And if we take a look at the um, sequel to this, which is the German market, it's been nice and colored up nicely for us. We'll be able to see it pretty easily here. Hold on one second. And you get this up here, and there's where we go. You'll see you've got this uh, three-drive pattern coming in here down in this area right here. This is actually – it's got to get down to this level. It could hold this level because that's a really important 61%. It hit it once, twice. Maybe it hits it the third time it holds because that's going to be – very, very, uh, very, very interesting if that can if that can hold that level. All righty. Now, let's see what – oh, we have a question from someone about sugar. My goodness, somebody's asking something about sugar. Sugar the sweet. Boy, you haven't looked at a chart in sugar since Hector was a pup, and that dog's nine years old. Hold on a second. We'll get this up here and take a quick look at it. We just had a big double bottom down here uh, last week, and you'll notice uh, – uh, major support down in here. We've hit it one, two, three times right here. And then, of course, this week, uh, you know, we've had a heck of a run up into this area right here. And so that support did actually hold. But you can see it has some really nice uh, ABCD patterns up in here. Uh, five years ago, uh, sugar was trading for 23 cents. And I met a young man from Chicago named Cy Monley, and he actually did hedging for sugar and the the news on sugar at 23 cents was this was the most bullish sugar crop could ever be and they were looking for 40 to 50 cents on sugar and it was a three drive to a top pattern at a 382 on the weekly chart 
and I believe sugar, I it was trading at 25, 26. I don't remember the day. And I told him, I said, if this thing goes above here, I said, you should throw my number away and never talk to me. But if it works, uh, I'd like to teach you more of this stuff. And two days later, uh, you know, the market reversed and boy, it went down and Cy and I became friends and he became a, a technician, pattern recognition, swing trader, along with the fundamentals that he follows. But uh, that's what uh, gets you to the promised land on some of these things, folks, because, uh, you know, they follow the market. I mean, just absolutely, you know, amazingly well. And that's the, the main thing. Now, also, you know, folks, we are in the uh, natural gas. I wanted to bring up uh, the natural gas because we've had all of these have gone really crazy in our favor. The silver, you know, the uh, wheat. Uh, the S and especially the S and P and stuff, you know, all those have broken down. The bonds, we've been bearish bonds for two years, but actually, you know, we haven't really put any recommendations out other than short-term 382s in the bonds, because of the fact that uh, our target for the long term was uh, 128, and uh, and we were when we were at 146, people says they'll never get to 128. Well, eight weeks later, they got there. So. That's what we got to pay close attention to. But we've hit these levels here. Now, we need to get it above $7 pretty quickly. And if we don't, that means that this little 382 rally that we had up to $7 uh, means it's not going to go very war very far. And that's when you want to be uh, really, really uh, super careful uh, as, you, as you watch these things unfold because that, those things get a little bit tricky when they turn around and, you know, die like a pig and don't go anywhere. We've seen that happen in so darn many things and all the things we've been looking at through through all these years that we've been doing it. Okay, now someone else another question about one other commodity and I'll get that up here in one second and we'll try to take care of that. But before we get to that, we are going to take a little bit of a break and what we'll do is we will take about, oh, maybe about two or three or four minutes so we can pay some bills for the O'Briens and those wonderful people at TFNN. And then we'll try to get Rich Anderson on the phone. We'll, we'll try to jiggle his clock one more time. And remember, tomorrow, folks, it's Bill Meridian. Be there. We're going to start the show at 9 o'clock. So, uh, excuse me, 10 o'clock. Try 10 o'clock my time, 1 o'clock uh, New York time. Tomorrow, Bill Meridian, Cycles Research. We'll be right back with corn. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, the trading gods are with us today. We have Rich Anderson on the line, the corn man himself. Rich, how are you doing? Doing good, doing good. Rich, tell us about the corn crop and where do you think it's going? What's your best guess? Well, we have uh, a crop report out tomorrow, and I think people are extremely reluctant to uh, step in front of that. The exports have been slowed down. You know, the big rally in the wheat yesterday is due to the the concern about Ukraine and if Russia is going to bomb the cities, are they going to cut off the wheat exports of the Ukraine? And mm -hmm. that's what put risk premium back into the market. But the crop report will tell the story tomorrow. Um, they, normally, USDA doesn't change too much, but nobody wants to step in front of it because, as you know, every now and then they throw you a curveball. Well, that's for sure. How about the weather, Rich? I noticed that some parts of the Midwest got early frost and stuff. Was it enough to do any damage? No, it's 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 um, it's too late for that. It, it okay. just helps the corn dry down and and uh, makes it easier to combine. Now okay. we've got a chance for rain tonight, and that could make the fields messy. But no, weather is. Weather's not an issue. Parts of South America are dry, but parts of it are, are wet, so that's not an issue. Um, there's no major places where there are significant issues that can affect things right at the moment. Okay, that's good. And the bean crop is pretty much the same as the corn. It's moving along pretty good? Yep. And uh, the, the late, you know, some of the beans had some late rains, and and uh, I think it was just a little too late. And that's that's the problem, but uh, you know, ethanol demands down. You know, gasoline demands down. All this is you know part of what slows the grains down. But nobody's willing to take any risk premium off because with the mm -hmm. situation in Russia and the Ukraine, you know, the certainty mm -hmm. of, of having food is uh, up. Up to the willingness of Russia to cooperate with the world powers on trade routes. Now, speaking of that, uh, one of the reasons I asked you to be on the show today, we were chatting, Rich and I were talking about this yesterday, was about this bridge that uh, was taken out in the Crimea uh, going into Ukraine. And, uh, um, Rich, did you hear anything about who caused that or, or why it was done? Do you know anything about it? Well, it was, it was. Putin's big accomplishment, right? And so, you know, he's got his name all over the bridge, basically. And they, you know, I, I believe, nobody's acknowledged, but the Ukrainian Special Forces did it on his birthday as a birthday present. It was on his birthday? Yeah. And in fact, Shut one the of the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and and I know you don't do Twitter, but if you did, Man. you'd get a kick out of one of the. Uh, Leaders of Ukraine <laughs> had on Twitter the bridge on fire and having Mayor Monroe, Monroe singing "Happy Birthday, President." Oh my God! Well, if you ever, <laughs> folks, if you ever go bear hunting, the one thing you don't want to do is poke the bear with a stick. You don't want to do that. I know, and that's exactly what they were doing. <laughs> oh my God! But I didn't the, know it was on his birthday. Yeah, it was on his birthday, Larry, and you know he made the big. 
the first trucks to drive over were orange trucks, and he he drove the front one. And you know, so this was his big accomplishment. And they were just poke, they were poking the bear. <sighs> wow, but boy, the, I'll tell the, you. You know, the the dollar strong. It's amazing that the grains are as strong as they are, given how strong mm-hmm. the dollar is. Um, and the dollars, you know, going to stay strong because. We need to raise our interest rates to slow inflation. And yeah. in England, they they had, you know, they put that two-week program into effect to mm-hmm. buy bonds. And then yesterday they had to start buying bonds again when the two-week po- program ends on Friday. I mean, mm-hmm. this easy money, zero interest rate is is not a pretty picture. And you've got more and more people saying we need energy independence and so I think after the election, you'll see uh, Biden pivot. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you think he'll do anything before the election to get votes, or what, what's the odds on that? No, no, I don't think he'll do anything before, but because, you know, if the Democrats don't like the idea of fracking and stuff like that, but we, we've got to get back to being the swing producer. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we need to I mean, do something, that's for sure. You can't draw down your strategic yeah. petroleum yeah. reserve. It's, it's drawn yeah. down about 30% now. There's yeah. a zero on that. So you're going to have to go to where you yeah. have it, and that's in your fracking. Yeah. Rich, you ever, You know, I lived in San Luis Obispo and used to come out and visit me. You know that beautiful hotel now. They have a 20-stable a, uh, thing for Teslas for people can come in off the freeway, the 101, and, and you charge mm-hmm. up. It takes 45 minutes. Rich, wow. there's never less than 50 or 60 cars in line, and each one of them takes 45 minutes. So can you imagine how long that takes to get the fuel? And then they charge you for the electricity, which is almost equal to the gas. You know, I mean, it's, yeah, just, it's, it's just truly amazing. My sister, my daughter, Jill, sent me pictures of it. And I said, oh, my God, I can't believe it's that, that crowded. But I don't, I don't have electric cars. And, so I and don't imagine anything about that they have rolling blackouts in California. How yeah. that work. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Okay, one other thing. Tell us about interest rates. How high do you think we'll go? I know we're going above 4%. Do you think we're going to get to 6 or 7? I think we'll get I think we'll get to 45 to 4 and 3 quarters and mm-hmm. the the system's going to start to creak and they will uh, they will duck. You know, in the 1970s yeah. when we were trying to get a hold of uh, Inflation. Yep. The Fed raised interest rates on four different times before they finally yep. had the willingness yep. to stick to it. Got it. Oh, and, I remember that. You know, so yeah. I suspect that uh, they'll get to about four and a half, four and three quarters, and mm-hmm. and they'll fold. That's when we first met, way back in 1974, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, yep. It's hard to time. hard to believe. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, buddy. We really appreciate it, and we'll have you on again soon. And anything pops up that has any interest, let me know, and I'll forward it on to the folks here, okay? All righty. I think energies and and sugar, you know, eventually energy. With the war going on, energies are the place to keep an eye on. That's what I think. Yeah, we, we're definitely watching those. We got a pretty what we think is a handle on it anyway. But anyway, thanks a lot, buddy. We really we're do still appreciate going to 33 on the S&P, I believe. So we'll see. Uh, I, have to agree, I have to agree with that. Rich Anderson, folks, and we'll have him on again soon. And I have one other chart here beyond the corn here that I wanted to talk to. And that is the, uh, hold on, believe it or not, it is soybeans. And I wanted to get them up here. Here we are. Get the soybean chart up so we'll be able to see it because we've had a, a little bit of a rally here in beans. We had a nice low here the other day, and then we had a tiny bit of a rally. But compared to what happened to wheat, beans didn't even move at all, and neither did corn. See, corn is way up here, folks, and beans, which is basically you know 80% protein and 20% oil, is way down in here. Now it's had a nice rally, of course, but you know basically only to the 382, and so that's telling us that. Uh, you know, it's pretty uh, pretty interesting, you know, why this market doesn't quite respond because it has all the reasons in the world to really get strong. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I've posted a chart here of lumber, something that I haven't traded in over 50 years, and I don't plan on trading it now, but someone had a request, so I want you to see this is the last four months. Folks, the high on lumber a year and a half ago was at 1,700. If you remember, there was no lumber around. Even Santa couldn't get lumber for the elves because it was 1,700. There was no wood anywhere in the world, and now we have it down here at just around $400 a uh, cubic foot, I believe. Is, I don't remember what the the method is that they calculated by, but uh, I think it's cubic feet, yeah. Or board feet, it's board feet. Duh, it's lumber. Anyway, so we've had a heck of a move, and you can see that's probably why uh, all your people that are doing uh, repair work and stuff have dropped their prices. Wrong. No, they still charge you the price that it was a year and a half ago. So, But that's what's really happened to lumber. Lumber is basically a professional... Uh, thing to trade. I don't know any. I know one person, Roy Fassel, uh, still trades lumber, but his whole business was based on lumber when he ran Conti Commodity. So that's what we're paying attention to here. Uh, okay, now the the chart that means probably the most today. We should because it's bullish. We should close above 37.53 today in the E mini S and P because this is just the first bounce off the bottom. You know, uh, the, the, the Dow Jones made a beautiful 78. I, po I posted it here. A beautiful 78% retracement exactly there with a three drive to a bottom pattern. 
you, you just can't get any better than that. And also the NASDAQ and the S&P were making three drive to a bottom. So we're having a rally. This is nothing more than a rally in a bear market. Uh, no, things don't change like this overnight just because the Dow Jones rallies 700 points. Remember the last time it rallied 1,400 points and we came all the way back down. So, you know, <laughs> you got to realize that these markets are pretty, pretty crazy. So please live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with Bill Meridian of Cycles Research, Vienna, Austria. And may God bless.